down, I put a video of myself jumping out of the plane and obviously spotting to, to do in the past. It was uh, something that we wanted to do, uh, but not managed to, to do it. So she asked me if she can do it, and I said, yeah, so we come together. Basically, it was, yeah, yeah, come that way. Yeah, I um, I've wanted to jump for a while, and actually wanted to also raise money for um, the Wellbeing Trust and Mind. And so it was, it's been a long time coming. Really, they did help me through um, when I had postnatal um, depression, anxiety after my two children. I wanted to give something back to them because they really helped me through that period. So yeah, it just um, I decided that uh, parachute jump would be a great idea, and obviously um, Cedric being a friend knowing that he'd been through it as well and done it before, we thought we'd um, yeah, go together and try and raise some money and a bit more awareness for the charity, really. It's actually really important at the minute to be looking at um, raising more awareness and fundraising, especially in this sort of time we're going through the COVID things. Obviously one in three anyway suffers with um, mental health issues some point in their lives. So, and I think that's obviously um, sort of really been wrapped up recently with what's going on. So I think it's just really important to keep raising awareness and trying to make as much money as we can um, and support the services that are helping people through this time. Well, obviously it's, it's a big issue, it's a big stigma for, for men um, to obviously face mental health issues. So obviously any sort of charity they're doing in terms of, uh, you know, we're obviously jumping out of the play, but there's it's a lot of different things you can do for to raise money for each local charities. Obviously, we're doing for the webbing, um, but it's, it's plenty of charity around that people can sort of, you know, do, and it's easy to to, to, to do it as well. So, yeah. I think um, pretty much just just speaking to people, and again, like um, just spreading the word and putting it out there on the social media, um, using platforms to just to speak to people. I actually use my business page as well in LinkedIn because I design for health and well-being, so interiors and things. So that kind of, um, the people that follow me also like obviously very much aware of and like want to donate and contribute towards, um, you know, helping health and well-being. So yeah, that's kind of how I've done it. Please, it would be similar. I've obviously used the platform on social media uh, some of my friends obviously work for the radio. I've managed to, to say a few words uh, on BBC Radio and Folk, so that helped as well myself to raise some money. But yeah, I think word by word, talking and speak to your friends, uh, families, uh, and try to raise as much as you can. Before we cause all the sleep, so obviously on that day, it's an entire day, so it's, it's important not just to the to raise money, but to help other people as well. Touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Not throwing up. From the <laughs> no, it's just. I think it's going to be a, a great experience. Obviously, I've, I've, I've done it once before. I think for Louis, it's going to be a different experience of mine. Uh, mine is slightly a bit knowing what is happening, then we'll step by step. But I'm looking forward to to, to do it again and uh, and to touch the ground. To be honest. But yeah. Yeah pretty much the same and it, it will be really nice to just be able to contribute and give back to the charity and hopefully this is the beginning of um, continual work with the charities. Hopefully I'm trying to get some more friends roped in but if anyone's watching and wants to join in there are still spaces to come and join us on World Mental Health Day um, for the parachute jump so yeah get in contact if you'd like to join in.